Hi everyone, today we are going to see about the augmented random complex block design using RStudio. And uh, the concept of augmented uh, random complex block design is to compare the existing treatment, that means a control, as well as with the new treatment that have an uh, experimental limitation. And this limitation may only allow a single representation of the new treatment, and the limitation may be associated uh, may be associated with the cost of the experiment, with a limited resource, or with a limited number of units that can be used in the experiment. In contrast, the existing treatments are, are also uh, referred as a checks and are generally replicated uh, multiple times. So if you have five replication, it will be replicated five times. So with augmented design, one can estimate difference between checks and new treatment difference among the new treatment, difference among check treatments, and the difference among the new and the check treatments combined. So this is the brief explanation of augmented random complete block design. So to run the augmented uh, random complete block design in your RStudio, so you have to uh, one uh, and load the package by typing install dot package and augment RSVD in your RStudio. Then, if you already have this package, so you have to call augmented design by mentioning library. So run this one. So let's uh, see uh, one example or one statistical analysis using the augmented uh, random complex block design. So we may have here is replication one, replication two, and replication three. So the, the, this the number that's found in the parentheses shows that the first one is replication, the second one is the number of treatments that is uh, built or that the, the replication one contain around seven treatment. And here is replication two contains six treatment, and here replication three contains seven uh, treatments. So, for example, replication one is the treatment is one, two, three, and four, five, six. These are uh, the treatment that's found in the replication one and again here is uh, Sorry one two three four five six seven so seven uh, Treatments are found in number of replication. So treatment one two three four seven eleven and twelve are found in replication one and again here is one two three four five nine uh, which is uh, six treatment is found in replication two and lastly, in the replication 9, the 7 treatment is found. So, as you see here in both replication 1, 2, 3, you can find common uh, treatments. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, are, they are common, as you see here also, common in replication 2 and 3. This means they are a checks. They are a checks. So, will you will compare with a new treatment. As I mentioned before in the explanation, uh, augmented, the goal of augmented uh, random complete block design is to compare the checks or the existing treatment, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, with what? With the new. For example, here is uh, treatment 7, uh, 11, and 12. You, can, you can't found in the replication too, what you see here. And uh, also you can uh, found uh, in, the in the replication 3. So, it's only allow you a single representation. So treatment one, treatment seven, you can uh, seven and eleven, you can find even also twelve, you can find only in the replication one. And again, here is treatment five and the nine only you can get in the replication uh, two. And the, uh, the eight, the six, and the ten only you can find replication three. This is the concept of augmented random complete block design. So see, here is a treatment. So. Uh, you have to add the block and again in similar fashion do for the treatment. These are the response variables that are uh, given. For example, uh, for replication 7, the yield is you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the uh, response variable or the yield uh, response for the each treatment. For example, for treatment 1, 92, treatment 2, 79, treatment 3, 87, maybe it's kilogram, maybe it's ton per hectare. Uh, for uh, 481, for uh, 796. So by this way, you can uh, give the first, especially because since there is seven treatment, so you have to count one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So these are represented for the seven uh, treatments. So by this way, you can do in similar fashion for the rest of applications. So type this one and incorporate it in your studio. And again, also maybe here is uh, white wool. Maybe it's planted. Maybe it's biomass yield. Whatever it is, but uh, you have to also uh, do it in similar way. So let's see our data frame. So type data and any name that you want here is maybe for simplification, you have to write data and uh, use the function data frame and here is the block. Then here is the treatment. Here is the response variable one, response variable two. So type this one and run. So let's view our data. Yes, as you see here is there is uh, three blocks. Block one contain treatment one, two, three, 4, 7, 11, and 12, and also is the response variable for treatment 1, 92, 79, uh, for uh, treatment 2, 83, 87, 3, for uh, treatment 4, 81. So, you see, here is our uh, data. And again, also, you know, let's see the structure of our data because if it's numeric, we have to change into factors. So, let's see our structure, structure of data. So, uh, type this one and run. So, block treatment, all the variables are what? They are numeric, so you have to change it to factor. So, to do to change it to factor, you can use by typing the special block and treatment into factor uh, by typing this, or simply you can type this fix. Here is fix, and you can correct your uh, uh, sorry there is missing ar argument let's correct it uh, is uh, data then fix you have to mention the data name so fix data then run so we have to change only what block and treatment into what they are numeric so we have to change into the factor so uh, this you have to change into the character and also do in the same fashion for the treatment to character so by this way we can change our data structure from numeric to uh, a factor let's once uh, check again our uh, structure so structure then type data here so uh, so by this way we can uh, uh, change in this way in the previous it is uh, numeric but now it's changed to character or you can also type in this one type this one and also run so is the your uh, your data or your structure will be changed from uh, numeric to factor so let's go to our uh, statistical analysis and here is for a check is specified check means treatment one two three uh, and four are they are what they are existing treatment and you can find in replication one you can find in replication two and replication three as you mentioned here these are the checks also they are checks so if it repeated uh, if it repeats in more replications so it considers what as uh, a check so you have to mention the checks into your other studio so in order to uh, type that so you have to indicate our data from the data you have to attach the blog the treatment and the response variables that they are going to analyze and the method of comparison is this significance difference and the level of significance especially the type 1 error is 0 0.05 and also you have to allow for grouping which is by saying group is also true and console in order to print in this and uh, the console uh, uh, in order to generate the output on the console, so you have to say console is also true, and also you have to specify the checks or the existing treatment by typing this one. So type this one and run. So uh, you will get uh, your result uh, this way, as you see here. So let's show you. Here is the uh, augmented uh, design details. There is three blocks 
and also uh, for uh, check treatments and also the number of test treatments are 8 because we have 12 uh, treatments in total out of that the uh, 4 is a check the rest 8 are the new uh, treatment so the check treatments are specified is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and also the ANOVA treatment adjusted uh, result you can get in this way and also there is a block adjusted uh, the ANOVA block adjusted also uh, mentioned here and again also the treatment means especially uh, their means you can find here you can find also the CV here uh, and then lastly the mean separation that's the treatment group using the least significance difference and also their uh, grouping so this is all about uh, today's uh, tutorial and uh, you can uh, address me any question regarding to my tutorial using Wagjira Tasfahun at uh, sorry at uh, gmail uh, dot com or you can use alternatively the YouTube comments box. Thank you for watching and have a nice time.